Hi everyone, it's Kendall here. Today I'm coming to you guys with this look, the simple, fresh, work appropriate, school appropriate look for any time and any event. I'm super excited to have teamed up with VDL to show you guys their new expansion into the US. Super exciting. So let's get started. VDL is very, very popular and very famous for their primer. At least is the Luma Layer Primer Fresh. This one is more of a moisturizing primer. So of course, me being me, being dry skin and loving a good dew, I will be using that one. It has an interesting mixture of like a moisturizer and a primer, so I really, really enjoyed it. It has a little bit of that silky primer fill, but it's very, very light and it actually just ends up working more so as a moisturizer primer as opposed to something really heavy and pore filling and I really enjoy that for my skin texture. And look at me, glowing. So let's get into makeup. I'm starting off with the Diva Queendom Cushion in Makeda. I've done an entire video of reviewing this cushion, so if you're interested, be sure to click on the I above us. And also I'll have that link down below. But I'm gonna just do a thin layer of that all over to cover up and even up my skin and to give me a nice dewy finish because of the primer below. Next, I'm going in with the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. This is in Caramel. It's a color that's not too bright, but just light enough to brighten up the middle of my face. It has a nice creamy, hence the name, finish. So it will give me an overall smooth and natural finish. I'm using the same puff that I use for my foundation test to make everything easier because the laziness is real. Now we're going into bronzing to warm up the face. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer and saddle. I'm just doing a light layer of that all around the perimeter of my face and to um, shade off the delicious food I had in LA and Korea recently. I'm going to use that same bronzer on my eye just to keep things simple and uniform. Just going on the lid, in the crease, and under the eye kind of broadly. I'm also using that to contour my nose just so that all of my contours are kind of the same color and it looks very cohesive. Next I'm going in with highlight. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Crown of My Canopy. It's kind of a rose gold peachy color and I'm using that on the inner part of my eye and lightly on my lid. Just gonna powder the center part of my face. This is the Maybelline Better Skin. I'm powdering the center part of my face just to tone down the shine where I don't want it to be. But because that moisturizing primer keeps everything kind of balanced, it's not gonna look super dry and cakey gonna go back into my highlighter and highlight the cheekbones my nose and my forehead next going in with the wet n wild mellow wine blush I'm using the same brush that I use for my highlight just to keep everything blended together and I'm gonna apply that generally on my cheeks a bridge of my nose and a little bit on just the overall highest points of my face and on my chin Mascara time! This is an oldie but goodie. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I used to wear this all the time in high school and I forgot about it and then I saw it and I was like, oh my god, let's try that again. Still really, really nice mascara. Now I'm finishing up with the Gloss Balm Fenty Glow from Fenty and there you go. The primer has left me very, very balanced not super dry not super cakey so i'm not even going to spray a finishing spray on it because i don't think i need it i think it looks really good so if you enjoyed this video or found it at all helpful be sure to give it a like comment subscribe check out the links to all the products down below and i will see you guys next time bye